Zane is one of SOSD's rescues that is difficult to rehome because he needs a very regimented lifestyle, unlike most domesticated pet dogs. Zane came to me at about maybe two months old. Um, the reason why I took Zane was because he was uh, a dog that had food aggression, even at a very young, as a young puppy. Zane was actually rescued um, in the rain on a rainy day because he had a maggot wound and his mother had already abandoned him. Hi, my name is Carissa. I've been a volunteer with SOSD for three years and I'm a current fosterer for Zane. Zane actually started as a young puppy and he had already some problems with his left hind leg. It started out with him, with his leg sort of, you know, just very small light cramps on his hind leg. So he really couldn't walk. Um, so some of the signs were that he was always biting on his left hind leg um, where his kneecap was and it started getting worse and worse. So the last one that, how it deteriorated to the place where we decided that it was important for him to see a vet was when he could not lift his hind leg up after um, you know, several cramping sessions. So during that time, we sent, uh, I managed to record a video and we sent it to one of SOSD's vets for them to review so that we can decide whether we should bring Zane in or not um, to the vet. So that's when the vet actually told us to bring him in because he probably has a kneecap problem. We took Zane to the vet. Um, we went to United Vet. Dr. under Dr. Mark because that's where Zane was with originally. So Dr. Mark actually told us that Zane has a luxating patella. And what that means is he actually has a bow left leg, equivalent to like a human leg um, that is bow legged. And what that does is that it really stops him from really being able to walk properly. And his condition came about was because his leg did not grow or it did not really conform as medically speaking to you know how a dog's leg should naturally be um, in terms of his kneecap and his upper uh, thigh. Zane surgery actually cost us between three to four thousand um, dollars, followed by hydrotherapy that will probably cost us between a thousand to two thousand um, dollars, and that's where we would we hope that you will be able to give to SOSD to help us defray some of his medical costs. These costs will probably help Zane to gain a better quality of life and also have a much longer life. Um, and we all know that a happy dog uh, physically will also probably help with um, you know, his behavioural issues. Um, so one of my theories is that the reason why Zane is probably sometimes so reactive is probably because of his physical condition. I'm actually looking forward to getting a better physically you know, healthy dog and hopefully that will help him in his behavioural issues. So one of my guesses as a fosterer um, all this time is that when you have a dog that's physically unable or not physically healthy, sometimes that affects their mental capacity or their psychological issues and that translates into their behavioural issues. As a fosterer that has, you know, we have uh, many dogs before, I am sort of looking forward to getting a healthier uh, Zane because we all know that a physical healthy dog would lead to you know, a healthy dog not just in terms of physical health but also in mental health and also in, in emotional health and, and I, this is one of my guesses. My hunch is that you know, Zane's, some of Zane's reactive issues could be linked to his physical health um, and we all know that because you know, having a leg that gives you a lot of problem and has caused him a lot of pain. I'm looking forward to you know, getting him good rehab so that we can also work with him on his behavioural issues. And I'm looking forward to see if my theory is correct, that he would actually become a better dog.